All right, try and pay attention. So the upper control arm where you have the bolts going through it and you're hitting the, the nuts from the bottom and they, they slide in this slot, okay? What you're gonna do, or I'm gonna do, or we can do it together, I'm gonna do it to my car if I end up keeping it long enough, is you cut this whole front end off where the bag mounts to. Just remove it so the bag doesn't mount to that upper anymore like that. And you got these two slots where the control arm was sliding on, right? And it's real hard to lock them down where it doesn't want to move or slide anymore. And it's a pain in the ass to do alignments because you have to reach it. Okay, so you're going to take some of this metal from what we cut off. And you're going to make just a plate and put two holes in it that line up right over the tops of those slots. And then you run some angle in the back, box it in, whatever you got to do, reinforce it. That way, the same control arm that mounted like this, the upper arm, you're just going to unbolt it turn it over and bolt it with the same bolts right through here. And then you put shims in between there to bring it this way or bring it that way or bring it out more or in more. You just shim the bolts and they can never move or unbolt again, okay? Then you take the bag extension brackets that I'm talking about. You can make these taller and you won't need as much air to fill up the same space. But what I'm going to do is cut the plates and set the plate free from the bag bracket. So take this pipe and this all thread rod and just get rid of it. So now you just have the plate that came off of the bottom of these bag brackets. <clears throat> and then right underneath this, where we just changed this guy to this, that's where the upper control arm mounts, right? And we cut off the bag mount part, this thing, right? And then you take that plate and then you just weld it with some gussets to the frame where you want the bag to be. So you're gonna mark the bottom of this guy before you do anything, before you take anything apart, you mark where the top of the bag and the bottom of this bracket is lining up on the frame, say like right here. And we know we want it to be lower than that so that your bag doesn't have to fill up as much to take up the same space. So then you weld this plate with some gussets onto the frame and maybe even tie it into that so it's super strong and then when that bag airs up it's going to push down on the lower control arm and up on the frame filling it up and then you can access your ports for your bag really easily without having to do anything you can reach in there with the tire on if you have a leak you need to pull the line whatever it's right there you need to change the bag it's right there same thing up here. If you need to adjust the camber or the caster, you just un, you know, loosen these two bolts, drop a couple more shims in there, or take some shims out, and it changes the upper control arm. Huh?